Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 from JG and Games, and in this rendition of the Game Asset Creation Tutorial Series, we are going to be modeling this blade of the sword. Now, this first tutorial will be comprised of four parts A, B, C, D, and so in this part, part A, we are going to be modeling the blade of the sword, so stick around. If you're looking for a high quality gaming mouse or just a mouse for the workplace, then look no further than SteelSeries. They offer the highest quality mice for the lowest prices and even can compete with Razer and Logitech given their low prices. If you'd like to go see these mice, use the link in the description to go check them out. Without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. Alright, so before we get started, I just want to point out that this tutorial is for intermediate to advanced users. Um, or up. If you're an expert at Blender and you don't know what this is, then check this out. But we're going to be doing this for a bit at a higher level because I wanted to do some more complex techniques and I don't want to have to explain every single thing. So if you'd like to see Game Magic Creation at its bare simplistic form, there will be a link to the playlist in the description below in which we talk and go through every single thing. I talk about everything. Um, about how to maneuver around in Blender and all that stuff. So if you're a noob, go check that video out. There'll be a link in the description to go check that out. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So the first one is four tutorials long. This one's going to be a ton longer. The series in general is going to be a ton longer because we're going to be doing four parts for the modeling alone. That's right, four parts. So modeling 1A, modeling 1B, modeling 1C, and modeling 1D. And we are going to be modeling a sword. But I wanted all these videos to be a bit shorter because I realized that whenever you're watching a tutorial and you see something and you stop and then you come back to it later, you may have lost your place. So these videos are going to be kind of short. And so we're going to do the blade in this one, the hilt in the next one, the handle in the one after that, and then finally we're going to do detailing. So this one is just mapping out where the blade is going to be. And also we're going to do a bare minimum of a handle and the hilt just so we can see how it looks. Alright, so I'm going to minimize this, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up Blender. I really should have a shortcut for this. I don't know why I don't. So this is your startup point. This is how it should look. If it doesn't look like this, you're doing something wrong. So, yeah. Now I'm going to click off to the side, and I'm going to right-click to select both of these. I'm going to hit X to delete both these objects, because we don't need them right now. We will get into that at the end of the series, but not right now. And then I'm going to keep this cube in here because that is actually what we are going to be using to make the blade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import our reference image by going right here, turning on background images. I can't talk. Then we're going to go add image, open, uh, navigate to my folder. Nope, wrong one. All right, and to see this, you just hit five on the numpad, then one to jump in the front view on the numpad. And we have now already in the front view. So I'm going to right click on this object and I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to go into wireframe mode because this really helps especially with modeling. So I'm going to hit tab to jump into edit mode and I'm going to hit B to select these vertices right here. Actually, no. I'm going to hit tab and I'm going to rotate this so where it's even with the blade. I find it easier to model if you're using the same reference image. And I'm also going to switch this to local so that we can position this properly on our so I'm going to hit scale on the Z axis, and you can't go all the way actually, so you have to do it twice, like so, just get it rough, and then I'm going to hit Z, and then hit A, then B, and select these versions. It, important, it is very important that you do this, or else it will not turn out the way that you want it to look. And so the way I'm going to do this is, especially up here, it's very similar, like if I hit tab and I start moving this up. You can see it's very similar. So we're going to start this all the way up here and then we're going to hit tab and select that, hitting B, and then we hit B again and I'm going to move this down because I want to have a ton of vertices on this. Not a ton ton but a bunch of them so that we can really have full control over this model. If we want the plate to be longer, or shorter, or wider, it's just going to be helpful to have more vertices. All right, so now that we've got this in position, I'm going to select both of these vertices, then hit E to extrude, and I'm just going to zoom in and make sure I'm not missing anything. I don't want to, I don't like modeling straight to the reference image, but in this case, I kind of am doing it on purpose. 
So I'm going to just keep modeling down, hit B, using the E key to extrude downwards. And you can see that it kind of starts to come in right here. So I'm going to go right here. If you hadn't done, if you had done this in one cut, it would have not looked like this. All right, so now you can see that the blade is really starting to uh, not really go up, but I'm going to use the vertices anyways because it makes it more precise. That one doesn't really need to be moved that much, so I'm going to move that one up slightly, and this one needs to be moved a ton. Just like this one. Oops, move that one up. So it's all in how you look at the model. This could actually uh, be back further. Let's put it right there. I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to have a bunch of vertices. All right, so I'm going to hit one, and I'm going to hit shift middle mouse button to pan down. Zoom in, shift middle mouse button. All right, I'm going to move this one up. Now, moving, I'm just doing this very simply, just so that we can have a ton of vertices, so that if we mess up and we need to go back, we have all these different cuts, and we don't have to redo the entire blade. All right, so this is looking great already. So I'm going to jump back into front view. Select these, extrude down. Now this is where it starts to get tricky because the blade is about to start curving. So now I'm going to select these, deselect by hitting A, and then reselect by using B so that we can get this accurately. Now I'm going to start using a ton more vertices because if we because this is a curve and we want this to look really nice. So I'm going to start making these a bit shorter just to get in the habit of doing so. All right, I don't know why I keep doing that. Let's select this one, extrude out. You'll notice that the blade is really starting to curve. All right, I'm probably gonna skip through this process because it's the exact same all the way down the blade. All right, so we are nearing the tip of the blade. I know there's going to be some sixth grader in the comments going to be like, ha, tip, ha, ha, no. So we are almost done with this. I've messed up a few times. We're going to go back and fix that. And especially right up there. Uh, sorry for skipping through it. I do want these videos to be really short, and I don't like showing the same thing over and over again, so that's why I skipped through it. Uh, I'm not being that accurate right now just because... It's the tip of the blade, and nobody's going to see it that much. Another sixth grade joke. Please don't. And you're almost there. Now I have to select these vertices individually. Probably should zoom in, but ah, YOLO. Just going to do this for the last one. And then I'm going to select this one. No, no. Let's look at that one and that one. Scale locally from Z to zero. Rotate that. Hold on. I'm taking this to global. Scale Z, zero. And that's how you get a point. All right, so we have finally done this, but you'll notice that no blade looks like that. So we're gonna make this really thin. And by going up here, scale on the Y axis, like so. You want it to be fairly thick, but not that thick. All right, so that is the blade. We're gonna go ahead and leave it like that. And that is all there is to this tutorial. We've modeled the blade surprisingly accurately thanks to my modeling skills that are not that good. And next tutorial, we're gonna be covering the handle, and then the one after that, the hilt, and then finally, we're gonna go into some detailing so that we can get a normal Mac. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to leave a like, and also go check out the previous Game Asset Creation tutorial series. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.